<laughs> what it do cosmic crew like comment and subscribe if you're new without further ado i got another video for you so as you can see we're here to discuss um miss keisha cole and honcho right so if you've been here for a while you know we use these public figures and their relationships just to discuss the astrological compatibility and things of that nature and so on and so forth and so Keisha is a Libra from what I can see Huncho is a Cancer um, and he's on the cusp okay <laughs> so he may have a bit of a lot of air energy himself now just from perception, he gives me, you know, a future energy. I'm sure he may hear that a lot, um, especially if they're from, you know, the same region, same place. So he kind of remind me of a future. And from what I can see, he does entertain quite a few women. But it seems like he kind of has things in check. Am I right, ladies? Y'all let me know. <laughs> There hasn't really been too much drama. I do feel like as of yet. But let's just see. From Keisha Cole's perspective. Oh, God. Now, if you want to, go ahead, take some time. Type in Cosmic Candy Keisha Cole. I have a, a video there. Um... <laughs> that I did during Libra season for Keisha back when she was with Antonio Brown, who kind of favors Huncho a little bit. But um, uh, in that in that uh, reading, I did pick up on a a vibe. <laughs> so when it comes to matters of the heart, Keisha Cole is a bit um. She just loves very hard. It's, it's giving a thin line between love and hate type shit. Like, she don't play by her feelings, okay? Okay, so, Keisha, tell us about you and Huncho, girl. Like, what's tea? She had posted mine. So, she's, you know, like I said, she's publicly claiming him. We got Wheel of Fortune, Six of Cups. So, from what I can see, she it feels like, you know, they've known each other from the past, okay? Um, I feel like they bumped into each other before. There's something about a reconnection here, a rekindling of something. Also, um, he still got something going on with the baby mama, for sure. Okay, with the Queen of Pentacles energy, there's definitely somebody here in a mother figure position that's uh still very prevalent in his life emotionally okay also they may be uh discussing building a family together just working together establishing things together we got page of wands this is moving rather quickly. I feel like they have a lot of fun together. It's a rather exciting relationship. They may be working on music. I can see a nice collab. Okay. Keisha Cole likes... Um... <laughs> In the last video, I had kind of channeled this song. And it was um, Every Other City We Go. Every other studio, no matter where I go, I see Keisha Cole. I be, <laughs> I be here that all week. <laughs> no matter where I go, I see Keisha Cole. I, I do kind of feel like, kind of like a bar fly. It would be like a studio fly. Like she kind of hangs around the studios. Looking for up and coming talent, young hot meat. I don't know. I feel like Keisha might be kind of selling this boy a dream of what she can do for him. 
based on some connections that she got. I don't think that's true. It's kind of similar. I feel like this may be a game that Keisha Cole kind of run. Like, she meet these dudes and she, you know, I'm seeing, what's his name, Spectacular? <laughs> Whatever they got going on together, like... Keisha Cole can really hype herself up. And apparently convince these men that she can kind of um, help them with their motion. Page of Wands, Knight of Pentacles. Eh. Eh. Knight of Swords. Eh. Two of Swords. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I do also feel like there are quite a few men that um, Keisha Cole may have been entertaining and kind of had to cut off. Like, you know, she is a very, very beautiful, attractive, um, charming woman in her own right. Okay, she can pull them easily. So I feel like, you know, she had her options here. Right. So what is it about Huncho? Like. Ace of Pentacles. Now, he might like to splurge, okay? I feel like he might like to, or when it comes to her, like, he treated her like a lady, you know? They may have went on a few dates, trips, bought her a few things, all right? I feel like his energy was very refreshing. And she likes him young, for sure. I got to read on, um, I was about to say Kim Kardashian, but Lil' Kim and that boy, I don't even know his name. That's what this is giving me. <clears throat> Did he just have a baby? Who just had a baby? There's like an infant <laughs> or a toddler. Look, Emperor, Four of Pentacles, Five of Cups, Eight of Swords. He is still with this baby mama. I don't know who needs to hear that. He is still with this baby mama. Look, King of Cups. What's the King of Cups? King of Cups, Ten of Cups. Okay. There's definitely some type of solidarity, a, a family unit. Someone makes someone really happy. Page of Cups in reverse. I, I get a sense that Keisha Cole may have set out um, with the intention to really settle down and have a, a family unit with this, with Huncho. Okay, really grow together, cultivate things. But he's still in a, a very solid relationship with the mother of, of his child or somebody in, in, a, in a position of, of, of that sort. Okay, very much so. Ace of Swords, yeah. I feel like she noticed. <laughs> Ten of Swords, Keisha. <laughs> you think you can change him? First off, he too young for that shit. Oh, God. Ten of Swords. Two of Pentacles. The world. So... Keisha Cole may have been given the impression that the relationship is over or that the dynamic in the relationship with him and the mother of his child or what the fuck ever, it has changed, okay? It has grown, it's evolved. And they're supposed to, he's supposed to be in a relationship with her. Right? So what is it about him? Like, what's he like about him too? I do feel like he's he's very talented, okay? She feels like he should be bigger than he is. Page of Swords. Somebody here is a stalker. Somebody here is a stalker. What is it about him, girl? <laughs> Six of Swords. They may travel a lot, okay? Or he makes an effort to come see her. I feel like, um, see, I'm getting a sense, damn, because <laughs> the card, 
it just started spinning. So I don't know. I, I feel like she's been told that he's moved on. Okay. From whatever relationship he was just in. Ace of Wands. Yeah. I feel like. You know, the, the sex game is on point. <laughs> okay. It's definitely hitting. Yes, ma'am. It's definitely hitting the spot. And once again, I feel like there's a lot of um, excitement, a lot of passion, a lot of fun, a lot of uh, kind of outgoing. And she does find him to be very talented. Page of Cups and very sweet. See, she's seeing his cancer energy. I feel like she appreciates that he um, is concerned about his family, their well-being. Okay, he's concerned about those that he loves. <sighs> Queen of Pentacles. What's this Queen of Pentacles energy? Three of Wands. <laughs> Two. Temperance. Empress. I could see Keisha Cole getting pregnant by this man. <sighs> but there's also a, a woman that has his child that is definitely getting in the way of whatever she's trying to... Um, Manifest with him. He, he know, somebody here is a sly fox. Okay. I could, I do feel like with the king of wands, I do feel like whatever he's saying is true. <clears throat> but it's kind of one of those. We gonna always be together because that's my baby mama shit. I don't know. That's understood. <laughs> oh, Lord. So, is this a serious relationship, Keisha? King of Swords. I think she is... Um, you know, being being cautious with her feelings, okay? Taking apart what's just talk and what's what's actually being put into action. We got the fool and the star here. I do feel like he once again he's very refreshing. His energy is healing, it's nurturing. And I feel like she doesn't hold on to pain. From last relationship, she doesn't blame the p new people in her life for things that happened to her with this full energy. Like, Keisha Cole is a hopeless romantic, just like me, bitch. Like, <laughs> what's I mean? You know, we meet somebody new, it's like, okay, fuck all that's happened. I'm, you know, clear head, clear heart. I'm gonna get this a fair chance, right. The Empress here definitely something about having a baby. I something about somebody. Mama, what's this Empress? Which is Libra as well. Three of Wands. The Lovers. Yes. <laughs> Two of Wands. Somebody trying to have a baby. Mm -hmm. Let's get her shows. Um... POV, honey. His pog. Let's get Huncho's pog. Ooh, the tower. See. I just split the deck and I seen tower, which is Libra energy. <laughs> Ooh, the chariot. Child. This is about to get crazy. Yo. I feel like he's been warned. Like I said, if you seen my last reading with Keisha Cole, I already know what she what she like when it comes to relationships. Um, he's been warned. This lady ain't really uh, wrapped too tight. Okay. How you 
feel about um, Keisha? Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. Like I said, there's definitely, I feel like they pour into each other. There's a lot of reciprocity as far as um, materialism for sure. Okay. Definitely feel like he found a prize with her. Look. Oh my fucking God. We go from the Ace of Pentacles to what? The tower. The fucking tower. Like, I'll be just saying this shit. You go from, you think you got you a hand picked, you know, this was made for you. This was given to you. This is a gift from God. And then all of a sudden, shit. You got to take divine intervention to get you away from this bitch. I'm surprised she ain't got the tattoo yet. She ain't got his name tattoo yet. The Empress. Child, don't let me find out he done got Keisha Cole pregnant. <laughs> right, there's somebody here with a baby. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune. Five of Cups. Like, ooh, like somebody is moody as fuck. There has to be some type of um bipolar. <laughs> the mood swings are crazy. We got Page of Cups. Yeah, there's something about a child here for sure. Oh, sure. And that's Page of Pentacles, my bad. Nine of Cups. So, yeah, I, I keep getting the same, um, you know, just kind of storyline here. They met. We got Will of Fortune, Ace of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, Wine and Dine and Her. Then we go to the Tower of Five of Cups. It's like, oh, shit. What's this Five of Cups? What happened? Two of Pentacles. See, this go back to where she was selling all these hopes and dreams about what she could do. And I also felt um, Keisha Cole may be the type to where she wants you to cut off all your hoes. Like, <laughs> if you're talking to me, it's got to be only me. I don't think he was really with that. But I don't know if she ended up pregnant or something. Or he's just not cutting off this baby mama. Like, whatever she said. Like, no, nah, that's not happening. High Priestess. Child, what's the high priestess? <laughs> hey, man, in reverse. Yeah, there might have been a bit of um a love spell or some type of potion or something he found out about her spirituality that kind of made him question if he should move forward with this hangman here. It's like he may have noticed things uh, that were a bit more metaphysical and it kind of made him kind of pause. And, or she may have been watching readings or she has a spiritual advisor or something. He might not be into that. We got emperor. Like, there's a baby. <laughs> there's a whole baby. What is this emperor energy? Like, what is this? I don't know. This is what they manifesting or it's already happened. Nine of Pentacles. See, this is a man. <laughs> this is a man that um has paid the cost to be the boss. Okay, like kind of gonna do what he wants. He'll do right by those that he loves, but he's still gonna operate as though he's single. Okay, with this Nine of Pentacles here. Seven of Wands. Somebody is very territorial. I feel like he is fighting off a love spell. There's a love spell being thrown at him. He's fighting that shit. Because he, his, <laughs> he's a fucking cancer. First of all, his senses are very um high. And he's very observant. So he notices everything. It's something about some type of perfume, some type of lip gloss. I feel like she has a, a ointment, a potion, something like that. Like a love love spell, lotion, okay? A certain scent that she wears. Knight of Wands. Queen of Wands, Two of Cups. So right now she's trying to match his energy. 
<laughs> she's trying to match his energy like on some um evil twin shit judgment king of swords I feel like at the end of the day, he's going to do what's best for his own um, elevation. <laughs> but, like, what are, what, are, what are your intentions here with Keisha? Like, what? Uh, damn. He don't want none of what she's talking about. Empress in, <laughs> the Empress in the Page of Pentacles came in reverse. Kermit. I feel like there's something about planning his escape, trying to secretly like distance himself already though. Like what? So why even look, eight of swords? <sighs> there's something about feeling really dizzy, really lightheaded, really queasy, okay, feeling trapped. Justice. It's yeah, it's something about some mirror magic. Okay. Also, she may be threatening um uh legal rep repercussions and shit. I'm sitting I say a thin line between love and hate. It's like either you with me or you go to jail or hell. Four cups. <laughs> there is no interest here. Four cups, four pinnacles, but stuck. So I don't know what type of financial ties he may have made as well, but there is a lack of interest here. But but <laughs> Eight of Swords for a Pentacles, his energy is being harnessed and and like pivoted and, and bound in a certain direction. Keisha Cole, you don't put a spell on this man. The Hierophant. <laughs> Keisha Cole's kind of like a handler, low key. Low key, low key, low key. Yeah, she's a handler. Is that work? What, what, what's going on? Why he feels so bad to you, girl? King of Pinnacle. There is definitely there's some type of Taurus in this energy. Now, I don't know if this is some type of um spiritual leader. I feel like he. I don't know what religion Keisha Cole presents herself as having. But there is the underlying spiritual practice that she's involved in. What's this key of pentacles? What is this? What is this? The hangman. Mm -mm. Maybe some voodoo dolls. It's definitely something about getting him in a vulnerable position. He should call you put a last one on this man. What is this energy? Why why is he so bound in this situation? Like he is tied up. Caught up, got me feeling it. Don't know what it is, but it seems she got twisted. I'm so caught up. <laughs> I'm losing control. This girl's got a hold on me. My mama told me. <laughs> Eight of Cups. Child, he is a child. It's kind of like trying to get him to turn his back on his whole family. Leave him isolated and trapped. Three of Swords. Damn. This is like some type of humiliation shit. Trying to make him depressed. Like tur turn him turn him against everybody. This is a narcissistic tactic. It's kind of sociopathic. Two of Wands. But what's the plan for the future? Like we keep looking forward to what? Seven of Wands. <laughs> it's not working because he keeps fighting it. This boy got a strong spirit, a strong will. And her. <sighs> <laughs> P 
page of pentacles. Try to trap him with a baby Keisha. Definitely hearing a pussy though. Feel me now. Mm -hmm. Ace of Swords in reverse, girl. Wrong nigga. Wrong nigga. I mean, he might end up with a baby, but that ain't shit. How many times we gonna try this? How many times we gonna try this this route? That's how you know it's insanity. We got seven of swords. Child. What's the seven of swords? <laughs> the strength card. <laughs> Keisha, this man's going to do what he want with who he want. It don't matter what type of work you try to put on him. It don't matter who you pray to. This man got a very strong will, girl. Uh-uh. He'll fight that shit just because. Just because he feel like something trying to hold him back. These niggas try to hold me back. Seven of Cups in reverse. He is. He has a very... I don't know if he's like... Um, if he doesn't smoke or drink or something, but there's something about him having a very clear mind. Like his intuition is so on point. His detection skills, his clear sentience audience, this boy is tapped the fuck in. He is not confused at all when it comes to his emotions. It don't matter. It don't matter. Ten of Cups, he gonna do what make him happy. I feel like if you play your cards, <laughs> that's so fucking crazy. <laughs> Barry, <laughs> I don't know. Tupac giving Keisha Cole it back. <laughs> Keisha, if you play your cards right, he'll treat you right. But try to manipulate the energy. That's just going to leave you um, disappointed. Mm -mm. Knight of Swords. Nah. This is very impulsive, destructive, um, compulsive energy. Somebody thinks before they... They act before they think. But they think they're, they're right when they act. Somebody double-minded. They got a fork tongue. We got the tower. Somebody is. What's the tower? The queen of cups. Mmm, who is this? Judgment. Now, he might fuck around and get some charges fucking with this lady. And he might end up running back. To the woman that he always loved. The one that's truly solid right here. And I said Keisha Cole's not a solid woman. Not at all. <clears throat> but in whatever dynamic and storyline we have here. There's a woman from his past that's been holding it the fuck down. We got eight of pentacles. There's somebody here that's solid as fuck. There may be a Pisces in the energy. Definitely Pisces, Libra. Okay. Three of Cups. Mm-mm. I feel like y'all can always be friends. Always. <clears throat> y'all can always be friends. Honestly, I, I feel like it was a rush into the uh, monogamy of it all. And just to kind of like be homies and kind of ride it out and just kind of bounce off of each other creatively. And, you know, even if it's sexually, intimately, whatever. But this possessive shit is going gonna, gonna to fuck up the dynamic. It's going to fuck up the vibe. You ruin a lot of good friendships trying to make somebody your man. Not just Keisha, I'm just saying. Just people. We ruin a lot of good friendships trying to turn it into a relationship because we're um, attracted to someone and don't want them to deal with nobody else. 
But okay, until next time.